Hey, welcome in crew. Today we're talking about the all new, well, GPS mod for Farming Simulator 22, the first GPS mod for Farming Simulator 22. Is it really a GPS mod though? Not really, not really, but does it act like a GPS mod? Yeah, quite a bit actually. I'll tell you all about it, all right guys? Let's pitter patter. <laughs> That's right, first GPS mod available for Farming Simulator 22. And like I said, it's not really a GPS mod. It kind of is. It looks like one. It acts like one, but it's not really one. And before we get into this, folks, Farming Simulator 22 GPS mod is not available for console. This will not be a mod available for console. It is a script, and scripts typically are not available for console. Console players, I'm sorry. This is just the way it is. I don't make the rules. I just got to live by them. So this is a PC only mod. Of course, if you come from Farming Simulator 19, you might remember the Guidance Steering mod from Wobster. Once again, that mod is still in the works. There is more functionality typically with that mod that we may see. So hopefully we'll see that one soon because there's some added little bonuses. But for now, this mod actually works fairly well. And guys, when I say fairly well, I mean really well. But what does it do differently? And so instead of keeping track of, for instance, where you've been and the different fields you're in, what this mod does is really keep you on a heading. So it's more about the heading you're going in and keeping track of that more than anything else. It doesn't take into account anything else that's around you. It just keeps you on a heading. And while you can see ahead of me, there's a heading been set. Now in the bottom right, you'll also notice there's a few other little details down there. You're going to see the left is 90 degrees, there's a 81.1 uh, .1 degrees, there's some speeds set up. Let me tell you all about this. We'll fire the tractor up, and we're going to start driving around. Now, you can see that on the right, it says where the, the degrees are changing. That is our current heading. So we're going at 124.32, whatever. That's the degrees we're going in. Above that is the speed. So you can see that that's going by what gear you're in. It's telling you that, well, in current gear 13, we do 4.9 to 12.8 miles an hour. If I step on this... It's going to change as we shift gears and you're going to see every time we shift a gear that's going to change speeds that's all that there is doing now the one on the left that's always at 270 or 90. If i'm over here it's 270 if i'm over this way it's 90. what that's doing is saying that's the heading that it wants to set it to so the red lines that's at 90. so if i want to go uh, on those red lines it's going to the tractor will want to be at 90 degrees and that it will follow that heading so that is the set heading. The one on the right is the heading we're currently going at. All right, so I've turned off the guidance steering. How does it work exactly? Well, very simple. It's actually extremely simple to use this mod. You're going to pull up to a field or whatever you're doing where you want to be able to set a certain route. For instance, okay, I want to do a, a quick row down, right down the line here. And I'm going to make sure my tractor is in the perfect setup. So it's right lined up, very similar to how you would hire a worker. You kind of set the tractor up beforehand and have it set up to be in the right area. From there, I'm gonna hit Control W, and that is gonna turn on the routing I want. Okay, so now I decided I wanna change the the direction I'm going. I can move this over and set our tractor up to somewhere else. In order to change this, guys, Alt W is going to give you a different heading. And now I'm gonna hit Control W again, and there you go, that's it. So Alt W does the change, Control W does the activation, so Control W on and off. You can see there I'm turning it on, turning it off. And then Alt W, you want to go back, is going to change the heading, turn it back on, and there you go. Now you can see as soon as I turn this on, guys, the wheels, I am not turning this. This is done by the program itself. It is turning on and it's going to start following that. I don't even need to be plowing or anything along those lines. All this is doing is simply following those lines. It knows it wants to go at 90 degrees and that's what it's going to do. Now, as soon as we get to the end, if I start to turn, it's going to automatically turn off. And now as we go around, you can see there's all sorts of lines showing up and it's going to know that once we get past 90 degrees, it knows we want to flip around the other direction. So you can see all the lines are really long that way. They're short on this way. But as soon as we get past 90, it's going to switch. And there we go. Lines have switched over. And now the long way is this way. So it knows it wants to activate. If I were to simply hit Control W, it's going to try to go in that route now. Um, as you can see, as we, as we go across, these constantly change as well. So every time you see whatever one's active, that means that's the one that, that it's going to try to turn down. Just be aware of that this tractor has a really poor turning radius, and it will not make those sharp ones, mind you. So you're going to run into some problems. Let me just show you what I mean here. If we kind of pull in, we activate it here. And if I were to try to follow this route and drop my cultivator, we're going to be cultivating in the wrong spot for the longest amount of time. 
until it finally gets up to that 270 degrees and gets everything situated again, which takes quite a while. Just be aware of that. There is some limitations to that. Now, there's also quite a few other settings on this that you'll have to go through to, if you want to really take advantage of some of it. For instance, say we didn't like the way that it was set up right here. We wanted this to be closer to the edge of the field. Well, we could hit control and then left arrow and move these a little bit over. And now that's the new route that it's going to take. So there's very, there's quite a few little, little tricks like this uh, that will allow you to kind of really mix up what you want to do with this program. Now, like I said, this is still in beta technically, but here you go. This is the vehicle control add-on menu system. You bring this up by hitting control C default settings. And of course, all the controls, like I said, can be adjusted to your liking. If you have a side panel, if you have a controller, you can change things up to your liking. Now, there's a bunch of options on here that you can go through. Uh, some camera rotation options, which are kind of handy, actually. that allow you your camera to change depending on your steering angles inside and outside the cab. There's a peak option. Some steering options with adaptive steering, uh, which is kind of handy as well. Your steering speeds can be increased or decreased. Free steering can be turned on. The big ones, of course, that we want to talk about are your track guiding right in here. And this one here is interesting. So you have to, you can put it so it snaps every 90 degrees. Uh, this is your draw marker. So the red lines you saw, the red and blue markers, you can change the way they look. So you can make them super tall. There we go. They're high. And you can make them so they disappear when they're not active. You can have them so they're on all the time like we just did. Or you can have them so they're off. You have a bunch of options there. And then we can also put lower ones, which are really harder to notice. If you just want to have just a bit of guidance every once in a while, maybe put it to low. And so it's, it's just when active kind of idea. That's not a bad option to have there as well. Now, the snap angle. Uh, this is the automatic follow that snap angle. If it's, it sets it to 22 degrees, you can change this from, I think, 0 to 90. Uh, we get working width changes. Once again, we're set at 2 right now because that is the size of our cultivator. However, I think actually it's a bigger than 2. We can set detect width. It's a 2.5 meter cultivator. Now, you can change this if you want to make it smaller, wider. All that's going to do is change the, the lines, the width on those lines. Most equipment auto width, detect auto width will work just fine. Below this, you've got offset tool. Now, this is more for if you have a plow or a mower or something else that would be hanging off the side of the tractor more so, and uh, you need to push the things over a little bit. That's what this one's here all about. Now, you can also change your throttle, your brake force, all this fun stuff. Uh, you can change, you have an automatic transmission. Of course, that's going to be changed. If you're using a manual transmission, be aware of that. The idle enrichment, I like this as well. Engine independently accelerates to maintain idle speeds. That's interesting as well to have that as an, as an option. And then down below, you have some traction control, your manual differential options here. You can change all this stuff as you see fit. If there, you want to make some things a little more realistic and maybe uh, a little more difficult, potentially some more interesting changes, you can do your, your axles down here. There's an option for all this. This is the vehicle control add-on. You may remember this from Farm Sim 19. This was very similar, but it did not have all these track guiding options, like I said. So there you go, guys. Like I said, is it really a GPS? No. It doesn't track you in any way, shape, or form. It is a heading lock style of mod. But can you get it to act kind of like a GPS? Yeah, you can. I mean, you can make it do some pretty cool things. And it does change things up a little bit. Now, this is also available in multiplayer. It works totally fine from the testing I've done in multiplayer. So give have out of there as well. Of course, links for the mod. I'll make sure there's a link down in the description down below. How uh, you guys can check that out. Of course, make sure you guys come out to one of our live streams or even our Let's Plays as where we're kind of messing with this and uh, trying to push this thing to the absolute limit if you guys want to find out more information on it. I'd love to help you guys out there. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as we, uh, we try to mess with more things here in Farm Sim 22. But things are coming along. We're getting some pretty cool mods right out of the shoot here. It's great to see. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the cool content we got going on here for Farm Sim 22 in the near future. And I will catch you guys next time. This is Glutch. Over and out. Mm -hmm.